You mean to spend some time in Voss? I wouldn't linger if I were you. You don't have scales or fur, so you should be safe for a time. But if Savarek and his lackeys smell a whiff of danger on you, they'll put a knife in your back by supper time. The new wizard magistrate. When Mistress Dratha fell ill, House Telvani put Savarak in charge of Vas. It was all honey and orchids for a time, but not anymore. The people are desperate for Dratha to return. I'm beginning to lose hope. Openly? No. Some work against him in secret, but he sicks his black snail mercenaries on anyone who opposes him publicly. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. He covets Telmora Tower, but until Dratha dies, he holds court in the Gathering House. Keep your wits around Savarak. He's slippery as a slaughterfish, and twice as deadly. He's a member of House Telvani, like Mistress Dratha. Mistress Dratha is powerful, but reclusive. Savarak's a little more ambitious. Technically, yes. Luckily, Mistress Dratha's mouth, Lane Sadri, has been working against him in secret. We're lucky to have her. Savarik can sniff out a conspiracy like a Nixox sniffs out truffles. Without Lane, we'd probably be dead already. She's one of the oldest, most powerful Telvani counselors and a ruler of nearby Telmora, the great fungal tower just across the river. She ruled Voss and lands beyond until she fell ill. Some people think it's just old age. I'm not so sure. A thousand times yes. Our mistress has a mixed reputation. Outsiders often say she is cold and calculating. That may be, but I don't mind. She cares for us from a distance, intervening only when necessary. She respects our freedom. We pray for her recovery every day. If Dratha dies, I fear that Voss will die with her. I wish we didn't have to leave Voss, but it just isn't safe here anymore. I may be a dark elf, but I also fell in love with an Argonian. A former slave at that. I'm not exactly on Savarik's good side. He's a member of House Telvani. Young, but a capable wizard with powerful friends. It seems he's likely to take over Telmora for good when Mistress Drotha passes away. None of us want to live in a Voss ruled by Savarik. We're being forced out. Savarik doesn't like the idea of a Dunmer falling for a slave, especially an Argonian. Unnatural, he calls it. Unseemly and profane. It's nonsense, but people get strung up for less. To oblivion with him, and this town. I've never known such fear. What? I do hope you'll forgive my candor, but I must ask, what brings a bumbling outlander to my gathering house? Do you fancy yourself a Telvani mage? No, I think not. You may take your leave. Immediately. Ah, I see the Noir is well informed. If you know that I am Savarak, you must also know that I rule Voss as its wizard magistrate. Do you bring me some petition, or is this just a social visit? Have a care how you speak, Outlander. It is true that certain of Voss's citizens have struggled during this period of transition, but I'm hardly to blame. They've taken Dratha's illness very hard. It's led to idleness and crude insubordination. Someone has to. Dratha's mouth, Lane Sardry, refuses to assist me. She just lurks by her mistress's bedside in Telmora, scheming and fomenting unrest. People in crisis require a firm hand. If that offends your gentle sensibilities, move on.
I'll check in on her again in the morning. For now, just get some rest, eh? You look awful. Yes, thank you, Menwendel. And please let me know straight away if you make any progress on a cure. Of course. And I meant what I said. Sleep, Lane. Yes, yes. And who might you be? It takes some pluck to enter a Telvani tower uninvited. Impressive. I am Lane Sadri, mouth to the glorious Mistress Drotha. What is it you want, Outlander? The situation? The catastrophe, more like. Savarak and his black snail mercenaries are strangling the life out of that town. I do what I can, but Savarak has the support of the Council. My hands are firmly tied. You, on the other hand... Savarak won the support of the Council shortly after my mistress fell ill. I've always known him to be clever and enterprising, but all this wealth and muscle, that's new. Despots rule with swords and coin. Savarak has an abundance of both. I don't, but I think we can find some answers in Savarak's manse. He's turned the old Berano house into a palace and a fortress. If you break in and find some evidence of corruption, I might be able to turn the council against him. This can't possibly be the first time someone's asked you to snoop through a wizard's manse. Just look for anything that seems out of place. Official documents often provide clues on this sort of thing. Let us too. You'll know it when you see it. I wish I knew. Our resident herbalist, Men Wendell, has been developing on a variety of cures. She's capable, brilliant even, but my confidence wanes. We know the illness deadens the mind and causes rigors in the limbs, but beyond that, we're stumped. Hortator and incarnate must rise. I have to prepare. I have to... That new adept demanded unrestricted access to the mistress's books. Between you and me, I think he's a spy. He went outside, complaining of a smell no one else can sense. It's a convenient excuse to meet with his contact, if you ask me. You're back? I admit I didn't expect you to return. Forgive me. It's hard to know who to trust these days. It seems you actually do mean to help us. Did you find anything? Honestly, what kind of idiot leaves this many documents lying about? Still nothing about my mistress's illness. Damn. Well, what do we know? How Salalu is bankrolling Savarak's operation, his wealth and mercenaries arrive via Selville Island, Right. With someone named Narondas, yes? The Halalu's hatchet man here in Voss, no doubt. If they are using passphrases, they must not know each other by name or by face. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Exactly. Find Narondas near the wharf and use this passphrase. I'll have the few houseguards still loyal to Mistress Strother make sure no one approaches. We don't want the real contact to muck things up. Learn what you can, then make a swift exit. It's about fetching time. 
Well? But the stench remains. You tell Varney's servants. Late. Always late. Our plot to kill Dratha proceeds at a snail's pace. I blame myself, in part. Tell Mora's fungal growth has proven to be more resilient to the toxin than I expected. Of course we are! To release lethal spores! What moon sugar cart did they drag you out of? I'm near to finishing the new toxin, but I need to know the current status of the infection. Examine the deceased nodule at the tower's base and report back. You still have your head on your shoulders, so it can't have gone all that poorly. Did you manage to learn anything? What? Those fetching bastards! The answer was right here the whole time. Mistress, forgive me. Look, I'm no slouch when it comes to magic, but fungal infections are well outside my area of expertise. You'll have to find Menwendel, our herbalist. She established a small nursery beside the tower. With any luck, she'll be there. If not, ask her assistant, Grace Guys. Please don't dawdle. I'm not sure how much longer my mistress can hold on. I'll contact the Telvani Council immediately. I'm sure they'll love to hear about Savarik's tawdry affair with those gold pinchers in House Halalu. If I know the Council, and I do, Savarik will be feeding the shroom beetles by week's end. Indeed, the citizens of Vos will be free to go about their lives in peace. Although for Vos to truly flourish, we must also restore my mistress Drotha to proper health. From the looks of things, she doesn't have much time. Not now. Not yet. The fire, the unmourned house, must be ready. Is someone there? It's you. Hist be praised. Savarik set those black snail thugs on us. A half dozen of them. I tried to... Sorry, just... Let me catch my breath. They took her. She didn't make it easy. Bit one of their ears off and broke a flask over another one's face. But in the end, they were just too much for her. The leader kept shouting not to kill her. Said someone named Narandas needed her alive. I heard one of them mention a hideout along the coast. There are a few old pirate dens south of here. Maybe they've claimed one. Manwendel knows more about the fungal towers than anyone. Hist only knows what they have planned for her. You in-faced brute! I have moldy bread and I'm not afraid to use it! Wait, 
I've seen you before. Oh, sorry about the imp face thing. Your face is really quite... I don't know. Never mind. I'm glad you're here. I was just preparing to make my escape. Should be a lot easier now. Why are you here anyway? Did Grey Sky send you? Well, that's gross. Hmm. Looks like it was stitched to the lowest stalk. But these striae... Oh no, it's the spores. The growth fence spores into the tower that... Never mind. I think I can help Dratha, but I need a sample of the toxin they used. Narandus is hiding in here somewhere. If you deal with him, these brutes will scatter like roaches under a lantern. Now, I can make it back to Vos on my own. You give these bastards a good drubbing, find that toxin, and meet me back at Telmora. Leave this cavern alive! There you are! I gave Mistress Dratha some chokwee bitters to slow the effect of the spores, but this is like binding a troll's hands with fishing twine. Did you bring the toxin sample I asked for? I can't brew an antidote without it. Perfect. I'll get to work on this right away. Oh, one other thing. Lane took off toward Vos with a handful of guardsmen. I think they mean to arrest that Gwal's ass, Savarik. She might need your help. If you find that oath, give him a good kick in the nethers for me. If for knows how long it's going to take me to clean up my nursery. The Shalmat. Lurking. Waiting. Curses beneath the mountain. Hear me, incarnate. Hear me. Savarik's gone. Damn that slippery bastard. We tossed his manse, the gathering house, the wharf. We turned the whole damn town upside down and nothing. He can't have just vanished. What did we miss? Of course, his black snail mercenaries have been resupplying there. That must be where he's headed. Selville Island is just east of the tower. If he manages to get away, I'll never forgive myself. It will take me too long to gather up all the town guards. I need you to go after him. Please, Sarah, make sure he doesn't board that ship.
you meddlesome prat. Dratha may survive, but I'll make sure you won't. You're back. My mistress and I fared the worst. Is it over? Is Savarik slain? What a relief. With Mistress Drotha's approval, I'll send runners to nearby towns and let the people know it's safe to return. Thank you, my friend. Truly. Take this, and I believe my Mistress Drotha would like a proper word as well. Muthsir, this is the warrior I told you about. The one that exposed the Halalu plot and struck down Savarik. 